Hey there, East Palo Alto homeowners. I am gonna give you your real estate market update. I'm gonna try and give you all the information you need, so let's dive right in. So first thing everyone wants to know is price. What's been going on with pricing? East Palo Alto has been relatively flat over the past year and past couple years. There's been some peaks and troughs, but look at that graph. You can see right in there, it's been relatively flat. I'm gonna give you my predictions at the end of what I think is gonna happen with pricing, so stay tuned. The main reason pricing has been relatively flat is because interest rates obviously gone up, causing a damper on demand. Although supply and demand is still pretty good for sellers for the most part. All right, let's take a look at the days it takes to sell a property. As you can see, we're hovering right in there about 20 days to sell there were some peaks and troughs in here overall homes are selling relatively quickly if they're priced right and they're nice properties but you are seeing some homes that aren't really priced right had a little bit weird um, not quite fully fixed up or on a major busy street and overpriced those ones are definitely sitting on the market for a while but overall I'm seeing if it's a nice home and it's priced well they're selling usually pretty quickly within the first couple weeks so keep in mind this is just an average all right next up list to sales price ratio this definitely is an important indicator of what's going on in the market right now as you can see there was definitely a point in the past where homes were selling way over asking price and has been fluctuating quite a lot as you can see from the graph here. Um, and my prediction moving ahead is I think you'll actually see a bump in pricing and I'll tell you why here in a second, but home prices right now are selling right around asking price. So my prediction moving ahead into 2024, the Fed say they're gonna start lowering interest rates in about March. I think you're gonna see a bump up in pricing because of that and you're gonna see more buyers come into the market. Now the dynamics affecting East Palo Alto are really interesting because more and more people are working remotely even though some people are coming back to work. And one of the main drivers of people buying in East Palo Alto so is for the commute. So I think you might see a small delay in the bump in pricing that I'm predicting compared to other markets on pricing based on that. Let's see if I'm right. We'll find out next month. And by the way, if you're thinking about making a move and want to get a free home evaluation, click on the link below, give me a call, or shoot me an email, and I, don't forget to like and subscribe so you stay up to date on market inventory and what's going on out there. Look forward to hearing from you and hope you found this helpful.